Michael, we're here today to talk about the most recent paper in your Global Macro Shift series, which is focused on environmental, social, and governance factors, more commonly known as ESG, in global macro investing. We're also here with Vivian Guo, who is a research analyst and has taken the lead on ESG investing within the Global Macro Group. Michael, can you please provide an overview of the paper and also talk about why you decided to focus on ESG? Um, we're excited about this piece because environmental and particularly social and governance factors have always been critical in our investment process and, and the outcomes that come out of that. And it's because our investments typically are long-term and horizon. And where we've been most successful is identifying structural transformations, either on the positive, where we invest in a country because we think this country will be better five years from now than it is today, or exiting or avoiding when we think it will be worse. So this, those factors have always been embedded in the analysts' analysis and how they come to their macroeconomic uh, forecast, but we have never actually formalized it and codified it. And with the growing interest, and I think rightfully so, in ESG investing, um, this fundamental belief that we have that um, good financial returns come from conditions where you're investing alongside with the country, where it's a win-win, where the country's social welfare is improving and financial investments will do better in that environment than, than in the converse. So we wanted to codify and formalize this process more numerically uh, and standardize than we had done in the past. And so that's the work Vivian did, was really try to extract um, all of that embedded information and compile it in an index both looking at today, and I think the most interesting part is not so much the current index, but it's the forward projections of where we expect those factors to go. Vivian, being one of the subject matter experts on ESG within the team, can you talk about the proprietary Templeton Global Macro ESG index that's highlighted within this paper? Can you also talk about how this differs from how others look at ESG investing? So the first consideration we had when we were sitting down and thinking about this index um, was identifying factors that had a substantive impact on the macroeconomic story. And so through discussions, we landed on 13 subcategories, um, five for governance, five for social, and three for the environment that we thought were significant um, for the macroeconomic story. Um, and so a couple examples um, for governance, we have issues like institutional strength, regulatory quality, uh, measures of corruption. Um, for social, we have factors like social cohesion, infrastructure development. Um, and for the environment, we have issues like uh, natural disaster risk uh, and resource scarcity. Um, this is not an exhaustive list, just to give you uh, a few examples. Um, and so after identifying these subcategories, we then went about scoring them. And for our methodology, we used a combination of both global indices and the expertise of our uh, analysts. Um, we thought the global indices, so these are reliable sources like the World Bank, the UN, um, we thought that these sources were helpful for establishing a benchmark, um, so generating a baseline score for these countries and facilitating cross-country comparison. Uh, but we also wanted to include the knowledge um, and proprietary research of our analysts mm -hmm. that focus on these countries and look at them day in and day out. And so combining these two sources, we ended up with, as Michael said, both a current score and a projected score. And I think that is where we differ from a lot of other ESG methodologies out there that only focus on um, what we call the current score. Um, but adding the projected score, um, we are able to look at the change between the current and the projected. Um, and we think that that number is more illustrative of the direction that these economies are headed in. 